Memphis Grizzlies. Last year, they were 51 and 31 with the second seed in the West. And John Morant, man. <laughs> There's been a lot of drama with John Morant and the guns. And it's been bad. It has been bad. They're not going to have John Morant for 25 games in the season. So basically, one-third of the season, if you include possible rest days, injuries, type stuff. So that will definitely be a huge loss. But even if you take away John Morant, for those first 25 games, they have a lineup of Marcus Smart, Desmond Bain, Zaire Williams, J Jaron Jackson Jr., and Steven Adams, which is honestly a solid lineup. They also do lose Brandon Clark for those first few months, I think. I don't know how long he's out specifically. But I know that he's out for some time. But damn. Yeah, if this team is completely healthy, I'm 100% sure they're amazing. And I do still think they're going to be very, very good. I still do think they'll be amazing, actually, if I'm being honest. I don't think that the John Morant loss will have too big of an effect on this team. Because if you look in past years, this team was really good whether they had John Morant or not. And that was also when they had guys like Tyus Jones, Dylan Brooks, Tyus Jones, Dylan Brooks, and Brennan Clark, who was injured. But now they have Marcus Smart. And Marcus Smart was the heart and soul. I'm now realizing I barely talked about him in my Celtics video. I'm so sorry. He was the heart and soul of that Celtics team. So first of all, the Celtics lose a lot by losing him, but the Grizzlies gain a lot by getting him because he fits that grit and grind as that grit and grind identity that the that the Grizzlies have. I don't know if I talked about this before. I probably did when I did I talk about that trade? I don't know. I cannot remember. But I do know that Marcus Smart brings a lot to this team, man. He brings the defense, and he's a better defender than John Morant was, which just makes this defense even more deadly because you have the reigning defensive player of the year in Jaron Jackson. You have another defensive player of the year in Marcus Smart, and you have the rest of the team that is also still really good defensively. So defensively, I know this team is going to, I mean, they don't have Dylan Brooks anymore, but they have Marcus Smart. They'll be fine. So defensively, I know this team is going to be good. And on the offensive side, I really am looking at, of course, Jared Jackson Jr. to step up because he was an all-star last year, but I'm also looking at Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain has been slowly rising each and every year. Last year he became a really, really good rising star. And this year I low-key expect him. He's a sneaky pick that I have who could possibly make an all-star game. At least as an injury replacement. Because I could there's a lot of talented guards in the West, but I could see Desmond Bain being an injury replacement for one of the top guards who gets injured. Because I think Desmond Bain, with John Morant out a solid amount of season, he's going to be looked at to be the main scoring option. And I want to see how he performs in that role. I think he's going to do great, and I think he will be worthy of an all-star appearance. But we'll see, man. I'm, I'm excited to see it because he's a great shooter. He has the <laughs> notorious short arms, but he still is a really good player. And I, I'm excited to see how he, how he does. I'm excited. And also, I'm excited to see how this team overall works together with Marcus Smart on the team. Because Marcus Smart is a leader, and he's he will really bring the hustle, he'll bring the drive, he'll bring the energy to your team. And when a team is losing their best player, their star, that's definitely what you need. You need a guy to bring energy. You need a br guy to bring hustle. You need a guy to bring all the things that might be missing when you don't have your best player. So, Marcus Smart definitely is a great addition to the team. And I think he fits in here great just to help the whole team work cohesively and amazingly and defensively and offensively. And it'll be amazing. So I really like this team's chances, chances even missing John Morant for a third of the season. When John does come back, it's going to be nasty. Because then you're having Marcus Smart off the bench, most likely. And John Morant, man, that point guard position is so nasty. I mean, when Ja does come back, you're probably going to want to run Smart at the two and maybe Derrick Rose off the bench, or you might want to run Luke Kennard. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're going to make it work somehow. 
and it's gonna be nice. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait. But yeah, John Morant being gone for those 25 games, I don't think that makes a huge impact on the team. There is, I don't think that he will mess up again because there is the idea, there is the possible thing where he could do the thing again for like the third time. But Derrick Rose is on the team and he's planning to mentor John Morant. And I think he's a great guy to mentor John Morant because he's been through the league. He's been through the ups and downs of everything, the injuries, the, um, the injuries, <laughs> the star, the star treatment, all of it. So I know I think that Derrick Rose is a really good mentor for John Morant, and he can definitely help John Morant mature a little more and just be a better player, mature maturity wise, so he can actually stay on the court and play games instead of sitting out because he had a gun on the IG Live. So. I think Derrick Rose is a great addition. And he also can help the team when... I mean, he's not the same Derrick Rose he was years ago. But he can also help the team when they are um, when they are missing John Morant because he's another point guard who can, you know, do some things. And I mean, I don't expect too much from him because he's old. Well, not old, old, but he's older. And so I don't expect him to do, like, crazy things. But it'd be cool if he could just add a little extra to the team when John Morant is out. And then... You have the rest. Zara Williams, I'm not expecting much from. I mean, it would be cool though if he jumped up because he's gonna probably be the starting small forward of this team for a solid amount of the season. So it would be great if he had a little progression to get better. There's also um, Steven Adams, who's there. Steven Adams is a guy who, when he's there, the Grizzlies win basketball games. So, if he is playing, this team is definitely looking a lot better. They did miss Steven Adams for a good amount of the season last year. And now they're going to have him back. And then, yeah, this team is looking so good. They had Xavier Tillman, who was one of their best centers in the playoffs last year. He's not coming off the bench, and he's going to be there for you. So, you never know how he's going to be. I'm thinking he's going to be pretty good, of course, because... He was playing well in last year's playoffs, and although it was a small sample size, I still think that he can bring what he had in those playoffs into this regular season. And I'm excited to see it. And then you also have Luke Kennard, which actually fits, or who he actually fits, he fits pretty well here in Memphis because you have a lot of guys who are going to handle the ball, you have a lot of guys who are going to play defense, but you need some shooters. And Luke Kennard is just a pure shooter. He can hit those threes, and that's that's what all you really needed to do. If you can do that for your team, that's a W. So that's all I really have to say. John Morant is going to... I know John Morant is going to be amazing when he comes back. At least that's what I think. I mean, there is a chance that he's a bit rusty from not playing basketball. But he probably will still be engaged in basketball activities. He just has a 25-game suspension. So I don't know the full extent of the suspension. But I'm pretty sure he'll still be able to play basketball. And still, he won't be rusty when he comes back. He'll still be okay to play and still play at, at least somewhat how good were you see him play. So, I'm excited for this year for the Grizzlies, man. I think they could definitely be one of the top teams in the West. You'll see my predictions. <laughs> You'll see my predictions. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um... There's only one more preview coming out of this, which is crazy because I've been working on these uh, like crazy this weekend. So, you know. But yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below any tips, tricks, or topics you have me talk about on this channel. And tell me what you think about the Memphis Grizzlies, man. Do you think Ja will be a huge loss for some of the seasons? Do you think they're going to lose games and be like 10 seed or 11 seed? They're going to miss the play-in? Like, tell me what you think, man. Tell me what you think i want to hear your thoughts so yeah that's all have a nice day turn on notifications i almost forgot to say that and yeah i'll see you guys next time i'm out